all right my dear students the topic that we have today is overheads and there are four steps of absorbing the overheads into products or charging the overheads to products uh, one is allocation allocation means charging whole cost item to the products that we have manufactured after allocation there comes apportionment apportionment means there are some common cost or joint cost or shared cost those common or joint cost should be shared among several departments using some of the suitable basis and the third step is reapportionment reapportionment means uh, the service department overhead now should be charged again to production department so that all of the overhead uh, collects in production departments and finally we can absorb the overhead from that uh, production department now we have a question g beta so beta we have a question highlander limited let me read the question for you highlander limited has two production departments there are two departments and named uh, machining and assembly and there is the one service department which is known as maintenance uh, now uh, as you can see there are some estimates being made annual budgeted information for those three departments some bases are given and what basis are given but the number of employees is given floor area is given in square meters and power cost is given uh, as kilowatt hours okay kilowatt hours is given direct machine hours and labor hours is given as well then we have indirect material for each of the department and indirect wages for each of the department but if we, if the overhead is already given for each of the department therefore it is known as allocation in allocation we do not need to divide the overhead between several departments because the overhead has already been divided now value of machinery is given and it would be used as a base to charge some overheads now this is the list of overheads what are overheads beta overheads are all the indirect costs we have rent we have machine depreciation we have power costs then we have supervision of employees then we have indirect material indirect labor and finally we have total overheads now what we need to do beta we need to apportion the budgeted overhead these overheads should be divided among three departments and then we need to reapportion the maintenance department overhead to the production department on the basis of value of machinery so the maintenance cost should be charged on the basis of value of machinery but is this is the last stage let's first complete this uh, statement of allocation and apportionment this is known as overhead analysis sheet now first column uh, that is given is for overhead then the second column is for basis of apportionment basis means that what basis we are going to use to chart the overhead among several departments then we have three departments here one is machining then assembly and finally beta we have maintenance overhead and then we have total column let us see beta first overhead that we are being provided with is rent now the question here arises that what base do we use to charge the rent to different departments is rent dependent on number of employees uh, the more employees they are the more the rent would be no the rent doesn't depend on number of employees rent would be uh, it does rent depends on area yes the more area we have in any particular department so the more rental cost would be shared among those departments so rent uh, does not uh, depends on the kilowatt hours rent does not depend on machine or labor hours rent obviously depend on floor area so rental cost beta would be charged to department on the basis of floor area now let's see beta what is the total rental cost total rental cost is 12800 and this must be shared among all departments on the basis of what on the basis of floor area now as you can see beta floor area is given 7000 5000 4000 and the total for all of these three is 16000 so what fraction we needs to make the fraction would be beta 7000 divided by 16000 or instead of writing thousands i can just write 7 upon 16 the answer would be the same 7 upon 16 this is the percentage fraction it is 43.75 percent of total rent cost and what is the total rent cost beta if you can see total rental cost is 12800 just multiply this with 12800 and the fraction uh, and the share of machining would come that is 5600 so how to do uh, assembly so the assembly area is 5000 out of total area that is 16000 5 on 16 is 31.25 percent and we need to multiply it with the total rent and what is it 
it is better 12,800 and this would be the share of 4,000 and finally beta it's the maintenance department and it is 4 upon 16 it would be 25 percent 4 upon 16 of what of total rental cost and to what is total rental cost beta 12,800 so this is 3200 now if you add up all of these beta the total would be how much 12,800 and this is the way how we apportion the uh, cost among several departments then we have machinery depreciation now what uh, on what factor machinery depreciation is dependent on uh, do we depreciate machinery if we have more employees or do we depreciate machinery if we have bigger area or do we depreciate machinery on the basis of power uh, how much powerful machinery it is or how much how many hours we are using uh, the machinery machine hours would be there or labor hours or value of machinery i think value of machinery would be more appropriate for charging machinery depreciation okay so the bigger uh, machinery we have the more expensive machinery we have the more depreciation needs to be charged now as you can see beta there are only two departments which have machinery and obviously those are production departments and one is 52,000 another one has 48,000 and the total of that is 100,000 so what we need to do 50, uh, 52,000 upon 100,000 or 52 upon 100 or 52 percent okay to be short and 48 upon 100 means 48 percent so what we need to do we need to charge depreciation on the basis of 52 and 48 percent uh to these two departments so 10,052 percent would be 5200 and 10,048 percent would be 4800 and if we add both of these the total would be 10,000 third beta we have power cost and on what basis does power cost would be dependent on power cost would be something relating to power and it is power kilowatt hours now as you can see beta kilowatt hours is given for all of these three departments the process is the same we need to add up all of these three and the total is 140 so what would be the fraction 70,000 upon 140,000 or 70 upon 140 it is 50 percent of power cost would be there bought uh, borne by a machining department okay so 50 percent of 7200 would be how much 3600 power is on kilowatt hours now what is the other base let's see we have 5200 out of 140 so i need to write 5200 divided by 140000 and uh, this would be the fraction 37.5% of how much is the total power cost beta it is 7200 we need to multiply it with 7200 in order to get how much 2700 and the same would be done for the third if we add up all of these three the total would be again 7200 then beta we have supervision cost and supervisor a uh, uh, whom does the supervisor supervises supervisor is supervising the employees okay so the more employees a particular department have the more supervision cost it will be required because there will be more supervisors so how to do it it would be 160 employees upon total employees that are 400 so 40 percent of the total cost would be shared by machining then for other the fraction would be 120 upon 400 and for third again it would be same 120 upon 400 for the first one let me do it 40 percent of what what supervision cost that is 6400 40 percent of 6400 beta would be 2560 2560 would be supervision cost of employees and then beta we can do the same for the other two departments i hope it's clear then we have indirect material so is indirect material already being provided for all of the departments let's see indirect material is triple eight dollar and indirect material as we can see it's already given the breakup of 80 at triple eight dollar of these three departments uh, if the cost is already divided then this means allocation so this is allocated cost we do not need to find the basis for apportionment we just need to write these figures and the total would be triple eight and similar is the case for indirect labor we are already being provided indirect labor for each of these three departments now we are done with the allocation and apportionment two steps now we are going towards the third step for third step what we need to do uh, the maintenance department cost maintenance department overhead should be now uh, again uh, recharged to these two department machining and assembly why because maintenance department is of the opinion that i used to work for these two departments and i used to maintain the machinery of machining and assembly department and on what basis maintenance department should be charged normally we are being provided with the maintenance hours or maintenance calls 
okay but here uh, the question clearly mentions that uh, reapportion the maintenance department to two department on the basis of what on the basis of value of machinery now as we can see beta value of machinery is already being provided 52 and 48 total would be 1 lakh so 52 percent maintenance cost would be borne by machinery department and 48 percent would be uh, charged to assembly department so for 52 percent of 7200 would be how much it is 3744 and 48 percent of 7200 would be 3456 now in this way beta all of the maintenance overhead has now been reapportioned to these two departments that are production department and the machining department final answer is 23724 and assembly department answer is 18624 now the total overhead is again 42348 this total overhead 42348 has been spread between these two department uh, by shared by these two department on the basis of what uh, on the basis of several uh, different bases that we have tried and this these are the three steps over at allocation apportionment or reapportionment so we are done with three steps and the fourth step is absorption and for beta absorbing the overhead what we need to do we need to calculate overhead absorption rate it is known as oar now let's read the requirement for part b we need to calculate overhead absorption rate also known as oar or overhead recovery rate now you must remember beta that all of the overhead has now been uh, collected in machining and assembly department and these two departments are beta what these two departments are production departments and for production departments we need to charge these overhead to product uh, using some basis again and for this we need to calculate oar oar beta stand for overhead absorption rate and how to find overhead absorption rate there is a formula for oar formula is budgeted overhead upon budgeted activity budgeted overhead upon budgeted activity now beta what budgeted overhead do we have we need to uh, calculate the o oar for each of the two departments one is machining and one is assembly now the question here arises sir uh, are we being provided the basis of absorption yes machining department overhead absorption rate is applied based on machine hours and assembly department overhead is charged based on labor hours now the question here clearly says that machining department is based on machine hours and assembly department is based on labor hours and why is that so uh, this is the reason beta because machining department must be capital intensive and assembly department must be labor intensive and how we said that first of all it's written in the question even if uh, it does not tell us uh, the examiner doesn't tell us that which base to use what we need to do we need to see for each of the departments whichever hours are higher let's see first machining department machining department budgeted machine hours are 14,000 and budgeted labor hours are how much 1,000 so whichever hours are higher beta so higher number of hours are machining hours if we are concerned with machining department and what about assembly department as we can see more hours are labor hours and machine hours are lesser here okay so what we need to do we need to take the higher figure from machine hours or labor hours okay so because machining department is capital intensive or machine intensive there are more machines working than the humans and assembly department is more like labor intensive because more labor is working as compared to machines so machining department uh, total overhead need to be absorbed on the basis of 14,000 machine hours now what is the total for machining department overhead beta total overhead for machining department is 23724 and total machine hours are given as budgeted as 14,000 so we need to uh, calculate it uh, uh, in two decimal places now the answer is 1.69 per machine hour if we write 1.70 it would be incorrect because uh, it is 1.6 and uh, something as uh, maybe more than 5 so therefore we have rounded it to two decimal places and if the examiner says one decimal place then we can write 1.7 per machine hour so there are two marks for oar for each of the department one mark is for the correct uh, amount 1.69 and the second mark is for per machine hour to write the base okay so let's see for the third department uh, actually the examiner has given three marks for this okay three marks for uh, this so, but normally there are two marks for 
calculating OAR. Now, as far as assembly department is concerned, the total overhead is how much? 18624 and how many are hours? Let's see for assembly department, how many hours are there, beta? Assembly department, more hours are like labor hours. So we need to divide it by number of labor hours. Now the rate is 3.1 per labor hour, per direct labor hour. So this is uh, the way, beta, how we uh, calculate OAR, overhead absorption rates. OAR, overhead absorption rate. Now there is one more thing uh, known as uh, over or under absorbed. Let's see, do we uh, require to uh, calculate over and under absorbed? Uh, we do not have over and under absorbed in this question, but instead we have another requirement that is also uh, more often tested in the exam, and this is job costing. Now, what is job? Uh, but a job is something that is unique to uh, other job. Uh, every job is different. Okay, from other jobs. Whenever customer has some specific requirements for you, so therefore it is known as a job. So let's suppose we are a, a construction company and uh, someone uh, come forward, uh, a customer, and they say that we ha you have to make a, a double story house for them and they have different requirements and someone comes that they want to uh, build uh, maybe entire building. So both of these uh, jobs are different or maybe third job is it uh, that you just need to renovate uh, maybe an apartment or and the fourth job is just to make the kitchen okay so the kitchen area so uh, all the jobs are different and they are based on customer specific requirement so uh, in this topic what we need to do we need to calculate the cost for completing a job or maybe uh, the uh, selling price that we need to quote the customer for a particular job now let us see what is the requirement the following information relate to job number 68 so for each job we would allow uh, 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 write a specific number okay just to differentiate that job from other jobs so this job number 68 was completed during the year now as you can see two departments work on completing this job one is machining department and one is assembly department so we have direct costs being incurred in both of the departments to complete this job then we have direct labor cost that is incurred by both of the department then we have machine hours and labor hours uh, this much hours have been worked what we need to do better we need to prepare a statement to show the total cost of job number 78 what we need to do we need to calculate total cost of job number 78 and clearly identify the prime cost and total overhead cost we need to identify prime cost of the job and total overhead cost let's see beta how to make job cost statement it is the same as we make unit cost card or job cost card now let's see how much material is being required to complete this job basically we have material in both of these department we need to add up both of these 3500 plus 100 so the total material that would be required uh, to complete this job is 3600 what about the labor labor cost also be needs to be added for both of the department that is 500 plus 1400 now, as you may be aware better if we add up all of the direct costs you remember from your manufacturing accounts topic some of all direct costs is known as prime cost prime cost means direct material direct labor and direct expense and then what we need to do after prime cost we need to charge overheads okay production overheads in order to find production cost now as you can see better there are two separate departments that are working to make this job uh, one is machining department and another, another one is assembly department. So first of all, we need to charge uh, over it in machining department. Now the question arises, sir, machining department is based on labor hours or machine hours? It is based on machine hours. So beta, uh, in machining department, how many machine hours are being uh, used to complete this job? In machining department, machine hours work for 100 hours. So in machining department, we are not concerned with labor hours. Why? Because machining department is machine intensive or capital intensive. So there are 100 hours estimated that needs to be worked for this job. And what is the overhead absorption rate per machine hour beta? It is 1.69. So what we need to do, we need to absorb overhead by this way. OAR into actual activity. This is a formula for amount absorbed. How to absorb overhead to products or jobs? It is OAR into actual activity and actual activity is 100 hours and rate per machine hour is how much 1.69. So the total overhead that needs to be charged is $169. So what about assembly department beta? How many assembly department is basically labor intensive? 
so we are concerned with labor hours here and not the machine hours so remember you need to absorb over it to each department using only one base we cannot use both of the bases if we use both of the bases then the overhead cost would be actually doubled okay 60 labor hours are being worked to complete this job by assembly department and the rate per labor hour is how much better 3.1 so what we need to do we need to multiply 60 hours into 3.1 and the total would be 186 186 so better finally what we need to do we need to add up prime cost and production over it we need to add up both of these costs prime cost plus production over it and the total would be production cost or manufacturing cost okay so better this is the final answer for this c part one and sometimes uh, there is some admin cost or selling and distribution cost also given so what we need to do after production cost we need to add up the administration on non-production cost as well and then we can find the total cost of completing this job but in this question uh, non-production overheads are not given so better we have last requirement in this question no it's not last basically there is some uh, over or under absorption uh, as well let's see uh, we have another requirement calculate the selling price of job 68 we need to find what selling price if the profit margin is how much 20 percent of selling price so better margin is always based on selling price and markup is based on cost price you need to round up the answer to the nearest whole number so what we need to do better we need to add the profit in the production cost in order to find selling price now the question here arises sir uh, in cost do we apply markup or margin so better if we have a cost we need to apply mar markup and not the margin but we are being provided with profit margin here so what we need to do now better we need to convert this margin into markup and how to do so better so to convert from margin to markup the formula is margin upon 100 minus margin and how much margin we are being provided better 20 percent 20 upon 100 minus 20 would be 80 okay so to convert from margin to markup the formula is uh, let me write it here for you guys the formula is margin upon 100 minus margin margin upon 100 minus margin and so what happens if we are converting from markup to margin the, then the formula would becomes better markup upon 100 plus markup okay you can remember this way mark up up means plus okay so whenever we have markup we are going to use this formula in order to convert that to margin and if we are being provided with margin if you want to convert it to markup we are going to use this formula margin whatever we have we are going to use that formula we have margin so therefore we are going to use this margin formula margin upon 100 minus margin and the answer would be 1 upon 4 1 upon 4 means 25 percent what we need to do better we need to apply 25 percent to this production cost and this is markup if we add production cost and markup and we would be finding selling price so better this is the way how we calculate selling price for a particular job